the problem we're having with this air conditioner in this RV is that when we turn the fan on, low fan, it just hums. It's not firing up. And if you leave this on, it's going to trip out a breaker. So it's drawing current. What we're going to do is uh, take this cover down on this model. It's just a couple of retentive screws. We'll pull it forward. Now as we take a look up inside here, what I'm going to do is see if this fan spins, and it does spin. Now if we turn it on, there it goes. So this is pretty much a classic start capacitor issue. On 120 volt, 115, 110, whichever way you want to put it, uh, AC motor um, needs a capacitor, many of them, to uh, cause a, a phase shift that will get the rotational um, motion going on the motor. And when I pushed it with my uh, screwdriver, that sort of uh, took care of that job uh, in a mechanical way. And so then the motor, uh, when it had gotten going there, was able to pick up speed and, and get up to speed. So this is a capacitor job. We're going to need to uh, find the capacitor and uh, remove it and replace it. And we should be fine. This unit we're working on here is on a uh, 2006 Fleetwood Sea Pine folding camper. I have it unplugged. Always make sure power is isolated. It's unplugged, the breaker's off, fuse out before you work on a motor, motorized unit. Okay, so we we'll remove these four Phillips screws that are holding down this uh, plastic cover. And uh, when those are out, uh, then we have to get along the side here. This is like a two-piece cover. It has to be pried apart. Um, and we're going to pry out apart both sides and then um, and then we'll use it as a hinge the remaining um, clips there's three on the top as a hinge uh, to pull this piece off okay so we're working on the next uh, little locking piece here I'm trying to pry this apart uh, I'm using a putty knife whatever it takes to get some separation here I'm going to get that little tab clear, get it clear so we can separate it. Uh, that's what we have to do. And uh, we'll work a little, try a little screwdriver action here and get this thing to pop. Um, pulling it from the bottom once it's this far will we'll usually get it to go. And uh, so we have one side separated of this uh, little clamshell cover on this AC here. I'll get the second one again. Same way. Yeah. So both sides off. Now we can kind of lift it up and off. Okay, so here's our fan motor that's failing to start up. And here's a look at our, our nameplate and our wiring diagram. You can see the capacitor, which is what we're going to go after here and his brown wires. So here's the air conditioner data sheet sticker recreational vehicle products division of Air Excel Incorporated, Wichita, Kansas. Okay, this AC unit has an access panel on the left side and there are just two screws on the bottom. Two Phillips sheet metal screws need to come out. Just loosen the top one, slide it out, and there's a schematic. And there's our uh, three capacitors in there. Okay, the capacitor we're interested in is the fan capacitor. I said there's three. This is the fan here, and here's the capacitor. And brown and brown white wires go to it. Okay, so following the two brown wires that come from the motor on down. We'll go to this capacitor right here. So this is the one we're interested in. Now this is just held in by a strap so we're going to undo the Phillips, sheet metal Phillips screw holding the strap on.
some, uh, I think I'm actually just lift that. Just loosen it. Nothing has to come out of it. Loosen it, and there's our, there's our start capacitor. Okay, this capacitor appears to have no polarity. Um, one diagram shows a brown and a brown and white lead. The motor diagram, just two browns. Um, there's no markings on it whatsoever, plus and minus. So um, it appears that there is no polarity. Um, what I'm going to do anyway is mark it so that I can put the other one in the same orientation. Okay, I'm going to disconnect this. I've labeled it just in case. don't know if I need it or not. But um, they're showing two different wires. So now we'll just unplug it. Go we'll look this thing up, see if we can get one online. Okay, we've got in our new capacitor. Yeah, I like US made product. Hard to find, but buy it when I can. In 7.5 microfarad, 370 volts. What I like to do um, before I, if I can, is test a, test a part before I put it in. I happen to have a capacitance function on my meter. My meter here. So I'm going to hook these both up. Put it on capacitance. Capacitance and ohms together, so I have to hold the button down. And now it's in the capacitance mode. Then there's ranges on here. So I'm going to move to a microfarad range. Let's see, first of all, the old one. See if I can get a reading off of it. See that? Yeah, I'm getting nothing on it. No reading whatsoever. Let's have a look at the new one. 7.5. So this thing is open. This old one. All right, let's plug this back in. Staying true to my uh, tape on here. Going by the label anyway. Keep the, um, this one in the same orientation. And it's just going to matter of slipping it in there. And then tightening down our strap. Wrapped in. Okay, we'll slip our access cover back underneath there. Okay, let's put this back together now. This cover back. What you want to make sure you do is catch it underneath in the front. Way low, there's a lip. Okay, that's the way it goes on there. So now we'll just put the four top screws in. And of course snap this back together on the side. Okay, we're back inside the camper. Have it up. Let's test this out. See if the capacitor replacement has... It looks like we're good to go. So if your uh, AC motor, in this case on an air conditioner, fails to start, always, always consider that start capacitor before anything else. Many times that'll get them going again. Thanks for watching.